Hello everyone, this is Susan Gerbeck and I am just finished winterizing my garden. This is December, what is today, 23rd, 2021. <laughs> and um, it's taken a while, but I've got, I got it all done, I think. So I just thought I'd show you updates on my, of my um, backyard. And I'm in Salinas, California, so that you can see what it's like here and I will have a nice record of this to look at later. So let's look around. You can see my peppers and some chrysanthemums, dahlias, California poppies right here. These are the poppies. And I see some peppers that need to be picked. How many peppers could a Peter Piper pick? <laughs> that needs to go in the house. Let me take that. And there's some more bell peppers and things here that probably should go in the house as well. I'm not much of a pepper person but there they are let me take that in the house too there's all sorts back here actually now that i'm looking put them in my pockets look at these guys and here's a bell pepper and i'll take that in the house too <laughs> mark will make something out of them anyway so this is one of the beds you can see the chrysanthemums very small chrysanthemums these are dahlias this little area over here i've been planting flowers in so that um, whenever it's spring we'll have a lot of uh, you know coming in oh here's my tomatoes and you can see I still have tomatoes I know crazy isn't it don't tell me anything about climate change here here's a tomato that's about ready to go in the house I have some more in the front yard that are I picked the other day so I don't need to bring those in right now and we still have I believe we still have them flowering let me see no I guess not I think that we're getting close to the end I mean it's only December <laughs> and oh, that smells so good I love tomatoes so this is my back area where I compost you can watch my videos on how I compost which is part of the reason why I have such great great um, excellent comp, um, plants and there's onions down there more onions um, radishes oh these are beets some radishes and this is all beets they're not growing so well carrots lots of carrots carrots more radishes these little screens that you see on top of everything are because I have cats and the neighbors have cats and so cats come in our backyard so we have to keep them so that they aren't um, doing their business in these in these um, containers there's radishes they, I've been picking them and replanting picking replanting and blackberries. I had blackberries just the other day. I took them, took them out. We have a lot of potatoes. And this I just added. It just got done like two days ago. So we had a gate here. And what had happened is that this is just wasted backyard. It was a gate that was really hard to open. And then it went over into my neighbors. And so every time you went, tried to go into <clears throat> this area that's ours, the neighbors would, it felt like you're walking into the neighbor's driveway because that's a driveway right there and their garage is right here. So we had a fence put in and it's been here for about three days. And yesterday I put really good weed blocker down there and then I brought in 10 bags of, of bark and then I've added stuff on there and I've winterized it. And you can't even see any of that there from the window because it's all um, hidden beside my house. So now I have a little storage area for stuff. And so I've just got it all put together right now with, with uh, tarp and stuff. So let's finish looking at the garden here. Oh, here's some tomatoes hiding under here. Oh, darn one just came off my hand. So these are all tomatoes and we have uh, daisies still blooming. Some of Mark's humor. Sunflower <laughs> on her head. Um, this is some sort of um, squash. Some more carrots over in there. Sorry, you guys, I'm not recording this in, in uh, landscape. I had, I looked all over YouTube and I found, trying to find how to get it so that we can go into landscape mode when you're recording on an iPhone in, um, on Facebook Live. And it, I found a video, I watched all of it and it only taught me how to do it in, if I had a tablet. And I don't 
have a tablet and it didn't work for my iPhone. I need something really current. So if anybody knows a good video to watch, please let me know. Hydrangeas. These get beautiful. I don't remember what this is, but that's looking very pretty. Lots and lots of succulents and oh, darn, what are those called? Can't think. Oh, oranges. Um, more hydrangeas. Look at going to bloom. Here's a dinosaur. <laughs> more oranges. And this is uh, pink, uh, pink jasmine. I've cut it way back. More pink jasmine. Here's my cherry tree. Still has some leaves on it. And ap apricot. And this area over here, I just cleaned out. It's all clean now, ready for the winter. Geraniums. And this is a plum tree. I need to come and cut it, uh, what's it called? Um, prune it back a lot. Put some more plants under here. This is a seating area. I cut back the star jasmine a lot. It's just been overgrowing. I haven't really been attacking these things and they've overgrown so much. So what I've been doing is this year, I've made it my mission to, I went and bought a, I went and bought a couple toys. So I bought a chainsaw and I bought a um, hedge trimmer. And so I've been having a lot of fun. I completely cut back my, my grapevine. It's cut to nothing except for the wood over there. And it hasn't been cut since we put it in in 2002. So what was happening is up here at the top where the, where it grows over the top, it was clogged up with wood and leaves. And so the grapes wouldn't come through the, wouldn't come through. So they just, um, you know, the grapes would be up in the top and they wouldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't harvest them. So I cut everything out that took, oh my gosh, it took days to do. And more than that, it took so much compost um, to put them into yard waste cans because here we have yard waste cans that we set out every week. And here's one of them here. So I took mine and then I ended up getting another one and I went to my neighbors and I used all theirs for weeks uh, with the amount of stuff I had in the backyard of the compost. And that's why it's all gone. I'm so happy. It took a long time to, you know, probably I don't know, 15 of those cartons to put this all together. Here's another jasmine that I've just cut way back because they just need to go. I mean, they're not going to die. And if you cut them way back, then it's fine if they grow out, but not to a point where they're, um, you know, too much. And then here's a bunch of succulents on the fence. I have just put everything, a bunch of chairs back in this area. <laughs> I was thinking of putting... Um, uh, cover on them, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't know. They, they're usually out in the weather anyway, but I thought I'd bring them out. I had everything covered with blue tarp, and then when I'd look out the window, I'd just see blue tarp, and it was so ugly. Strawberries. And I just haven't had a really good crop of these. Sometimes they need to mature a little bit. I can't keep up with my uh, strawberry eating habit, which is quite, quite big. This is a peach tree that we've only had like three peaches off of. So let's give it a few more years and see if we can get it to go. I trimmed it way back this year, so hopefully it won't be so leggy. And um, oh, what's that? So um, this happened. This is a jasmine that I had planted here in 2002. It was a little tiny plant back in 2002. And what happened is we had a lot of wind the other day and it blew the jasmine plant over because it was so heavy. So I've been cutting it back and this is the result at the moment. It looks really awful and I'll probably cut it back further in a, in a few days and, and get it even more put back. But once I'll do that, I will be able to um, let it grow back because it's going to grow back. It's, that's in the ground for a long time. And once it grows back, then it'll have jasmine, but not to the extent that it was. You can see, look at the ground here, how far back this thing goes. It, it would, it would, um, to about here, it was overtaking the strawberries. It was so much. And then it would go through the fence and it would, you know, I don't know, go onto the neighbor's side. So I, I had that thing big and then I kept cutting it back, but it really grows. It's something else. Jasmine is, um, amazing plant if you let it just go. 
Then in here I have some potatoes. Once those kind of start dying out a little bit, then I'll be able to have little potatoes in there. So I think that's about it. Um, that's where we're at, you guys. I've got, I got ready. I'm ready to sit and watch out the window and watch and see what the, um, what the garden looks like over the winter. We've got our garage remodeled finally. Oh, I'll show you the side yard while I'm here. Bougainvillea, I trimmed this all back the other day and made it, cleaned it out. Just, it's really time consuming, but you just go and you pick at it and you just cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it. And then my bougainvillea is still doing beautiful. I'm thinking I'm gonna move one of these bougainvilleas to the front of the, to the house, that new fence we put. And then we've got geraniums, uh, ivy, lots of succulents some sunflowers, <laughs> sunflowers, believe it or not. Here's my pigasus my pig that I put in here uh, that's from Paulina she said when pigs fly and then some mint more succulents another bougainvillea and we have some more California poppies more bougainvillea this gets massive I've had to cut it back so many times but it's really beautiful bright it really red more flowers I can't think of what these are called. Does anybody remember what those are called? But look at them blooming. Sunflowers, this is a sunflower. Mark had a lot of sunflowers here and then we put more in because they're just so beautiful. Marigold plant I bought a few months ago. And um, we'll get these things going, cut them off, break them off and put them in the ground and we will have sunflowers more. That's fine with me. Have them growing for a long time. More, more California poppies here in the front. You can see tomatoes still coming in. I have some green tomatoes still here. And bougainvillea. I didn't mean to put these tomatoes out here in the front yard, but I did. <laughs> they're still growing. There's not a lot, but there's still some. Here's one sneaking under here. Oh, that, that's not quite ready to go yet. And some green ones more they're getting really pretty ready to uh, to be harvested we had a huge crop of them here but um what's going on with the tomatoes why they're going so well is you know we've had some rain and so on but these walls see how the sun hits the wall and it heats up the wall and so the it's like being in a hot house because it heats up the wall and it heats up the tomatoes so that's what's new. I'm going to take these peppers in the house. I got some more errands to run. We're supposed to be having about seven days of, of amazing rain, which we don't get a lot of. We've had some lately, but not, not a lot. So we're excited about having rain. So I wanted to get everything done. This is a little chronicle to myself also, whether you watch it or not. But it's nice to see where other people live and, and what grows there and stuff, I think. Anyway, take care. Get out in nature a little as you can and um, enjoy your holiday year-end season. Bye everybody.